why do we like watching these grocery hauls why are they so interesting because i like watching them too <laughs> hello everyone my name is maddie and um, welcome back to my channel i live in a little flat with my boyfriend you're here for a lovely grocery or a food shop haul I do my food shopping at Asda and I get it delivered. I'm trying to do it in two week bouts at the moment rather than a month like I used to um, because I found I was running out of fresh things too quickly and having a lot of like cupboard things left over. We'd have to go and buy things in between and we're spending a little bit more. So to try and keep a little rain on that for the New Year's, for the good old 20, um, well, I'm trying to do it in two week bouts. I'd rather do weekly, um, but it has to be two weeks because Asda have a £40 delivery minimum um and we live on top of the hill and we're too far we can't drive and it's too far for us to walk the shopping bags back if we went every week to the shops so my plan at the moment is to do a two-week shop um, and then leave a five pounds extra to go and top up on fruit and veg from an aldi so yeah that's what this is i think this was about 55 pounds uh, and i think two pounds of that was the delivery charge it's a little bit more um environmentally conscious to get it delivered i suppose see one truck on the road might be a bit better than having all the individual cars um, and a good thing about if you do delivery at least with asda is that you can give them back the plastic bags and they recycle uh just a little bit of info we're really conscious on plastic um and trying to cut down how much uh plastic that can't be recycled we buy um problem with us is we don't have curbside recycling so all the recycling we do have we have to take to a local point and we have to walk it there again because we have a car uh and it just it gets a bit insane to be honest i try and buy i do try and buy obviously only recyclable stuff and minimal stuff that um has to be thrown away um non-recyclable plastic and things like that um so that's what you hopefully should notice in this but yeah without further chatting along let's get into the video because i know you want to see what i got for my groceries for this two weeks Let's see you later. So here's just a little overview of the fresh fruit and veg that I got. I like to get a good range. I got these mushrooms, as I said, they only come in plastic and when they are from Asda. Got two sweet potatoes, two regular potatoes, some carrots, some parsnip, or one parsnip. I got some onions, I think I got six, and I got them because I can chop them up and then I have to get the plastic frozen and it was a bit cheaper as well. I think I got like four gala apples, a red pepper, got three conference pears, two beef tomatoes because that's the only tomatoes you can get loose at Asda. I got courgette and aubergine, two bananas, um, a butternut squash. I also got some spring onions. Yeah, that's ten bananas. This was what I got for the frozen. Um, I got two packets of falafels. I didn't order these. I got the cauldron ones, but they got replaced, but they were bigger and more expensive, so no problems for me. I'm going to freeze one packet. That's why they're with the freezer stuff. Um, I also got... Uh, yeah, I was happy because they were replaced and they were more expensive. I also got these vegetable fingers. I was craving them. Um, they're vegan um, and they come in cardboard, which is recyclable, so that's good. Got some plant based mints, well, meat free mints as well as their own brand. Not tried this one before. Um, I'll show you it's vegan as well. And then I got these um, meatballs, Burr's Eye uh, Meat Free Again. Um, as I was saying, I meant to get the Asda brand, they got replaced. I lost about 100 grams, um, but they were pea protein. I hadn't tried that before, so I was quite chuffed to get them, to be honest. I got two tubs of hummus. Uh, I didn't actually order this hummus again, it got replaced. Um, I'd ordered the Delphi one, which is always out of stock. Um, but the Delphi one's 87p, and I think this is about £1.50, and it's double the amount I ordered. And actually, this time they replaced me with two tubs, whereas last time I got replaced with one tub. Um, so I was pretty pleased. I got this garlic and chive cheddar alternative from Asda. Again, a replacement. I got the cheese chilli, but it got replaced. But I've since tried this, and actually it tastes um, fairly similar to cheese. Um, and it's a nice garlicky taste. It's actually really tasty. It just doesn't melt that well, um, but it tastes really good. Got the cauldron marinated tofu. We love this. It's a bit expensive. Expensive and the plastic film's not recyclable, nor is the one on the cheese, to be honest. Um, but my boyfriend really likes this too. He said it tastes like chicken, so win-win there. Um, I just really like that. And then I got one whole chicken. We try and buy less meat, and when we do, we try and get one packet. And it's the Red Tractor um, a certified. I know that's not the best, but it's the best we can do. Uh, but we don't buy much meat. And then there's some baked beans, low sugar or no sugar, low salt as well. We've got two tins. A tin of carrot soup. I actually ordered parsnip, but it got replaced, but I don't really mind. A tin of sweet corn. Two tins of new potatoes, which I love. You can chop them up and fry them. They're really nice. Chopped tomatoes. A red lentil soup. Um, two jars of the Lloyd Grossman Balti curry sauce. It's vegan as well. There's no dairy or anything in it. I love this sauce. It tastes really, really good. Um, 
I always get Lloyd Grossman, even though it's a bit more expensive because it just tastes nice. And I got a Nigel no Sugar tomato and chilli and a bolognese no added sugar got some lotus biscoff spread <laughs> love that stuff for me uh this is kind of cupboardy stuff salt caramel naked bars got naked brand because i recently found out i contacted them if you send the package back to them in the post they'll recycle it for you uh, got some dates this was the only recyclable packaging i could find um usually it's in those non-recycled plastics this one's okay um and then i got four things of cola and some apple and blackcurrant squash and then this semi-skim milk we used to get tetra pack um long life but we can't recycle tetra pack in our area um and tetra pack's not recyclable anyway then we got some sandwich rolls this packet again you can take it to morrison's get this type of plastic recycled uh, that's why we got these ones i'm pretty sure these are vegan as well um you should get this type of rolls because they're a bit um ready a bit too dry but um the only one in recyclable packaging and then again got some wholemeal as the medium sliced bread um i like this it says not recyclable but you can recycle bread bags at morrison's um and probably elsewhere as well um you just have to go out and search for the recyclability um but we like this bread it, it does taste nice and we've got two loaves to freeze one and there's 12 pack of toilet tissue made of recycled and material and super cheap it's under two pounds this is the ecova um, fabric soft and i haven't used this one before um but i wanted to try one bit more eco friendly i think 25 percent of the plastic bottles made of recycled plastic so not the best but better than most so i really hope that you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye